Hello, my wonderful friends, Megas here, and it is dumping snow. I feel like I'm in a snow globe, and I think that's why I decided to do it outside, because it just has a, a nice feel to it today. And uh, today, believe it or not, <laughs> this message is Chiron in Aries. And I know you're thinking, oh, I'm sorry, did I click on the wrong channel? I thought this was Megas Ancient Astrology. Chiron was discovered in 1977, but my friends, I might do a whole video on Chiron. I like uh, what we can learn from this and the energies coming from it and how we can better ourselves with this. And there are changing energies right now, uh, astrologically and internally going on. All the planets are direct and we are moving forward with momentum. And with this full moon in Virgo, I feel our steps are so illumined right now where before we maybe had just enough light for the next step, but right now we can see further ahead and there's an excitement like I can see how this is going to work. I can do this. It feels like we are floating up, actually being pulled upward because we have let go of all the things that were weighing us down. And it seems like the sky is the limit. And my friends, March is going to be even more of this energy. So get excited. We have entered a new dimension with new possibilities. And then there's this beautiful overlap of uh, ending this last day decade and coming into 2020. And uh, it, it's just an excitement uh, of the good seed that we have planted and uh, the harvest that we're going to get in these next 10 years. We've let go of the unhealthy relationships. We are eating good. We're thinking right. We're speaking our truth. And we are now creating a world from this new being that we are. And uh, Chiron and Aries, it's also a very fresh energy. Chiron is at zero degrees of Aries, zero minutes. It's a fresh start of unlimited possibilities. The future, my friends, is wide open. It is time to dream again. You can be 80 years old and thinking, what do I want to be? What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? Chiron and Aries is asking us to be in alignment with who we are now. And I love that saying that... Um, if if you knew me a year ago, you don't know me at all. Let me reintroduce myself. I am new. I am creating a life from this new me. I, I know you feel the excitement because that is what Aries is. It's energetic. It's optimistic. It's motivational. It's a let's go, let's do this now energy. And in it, our confidence is growing. And understand this. If you've been following me in Asha, you know about magic and magic feeds on magic. Uh, it's fueled by magic. And so what do I mean by that? When you work in magic and you are successful, then your belief in magic grows and belief fuels magic. And pretty soon you're thinking, uh, this is out of my control in a good way. I am uh, being overrun with good, with health, with peace, with blessing, and it's building. And you get your first glimpse, my friends, of how Asha, heaven on earth, can really be realized on the earth. It's possible. It's real. And we're doing it. And I want to leave you today with a reading from Asha. It's Asha 16, and it says, God put the good mind, our divine spark in all his creatures, so it has a guide at all times. It's how the seed knows to climb out of the ground and become a plant, how the planets stay their course, and how man will find his way home to Asha, truth. My friends, it is, Asha is, living in truth is life without enemies. For evil, the lie and illusion is rendered nothing. So go, Ashavan, truth knower, in truth, and enjoy this wonderful life, knowing you are God's thought, living in God's idea, perfection. My friends, I'm proud of you. I'm proud to call you friend, and I love you. We'll see you tomorrow.